Hello fellow space engineers, this is Marcelo from ACFM Gaming and today we're looking at the two ships of DMTF that are capable of carrying mission packages. In this case, we're going to concentrate on a particular mission package that we have mentioned before in earlier videos, but never to this extent. The small grid missile rack. Now, both this Calypso class destroyer and this Akula class frigate can carry such mission package. In the case of the Akula, as you can see here, she has only a bottom installment or a bottom pylon to carry a mission package. So she carries the missiles on the bottom, six of them. The Calypso has two, so it doubles the capacity of the mission package. And on top of that, it has four organic pylons for these torpedoes or missiles, whatever you want to call them. In our classification we decided to call the player made weapons torpedoes and missiles for the small projectiles that can actually be stored in the inventory. Now, these missiles or torpedoes use the guidance script created by Whiplash 141 which is uh, very popular and you also saw in one of my videos before about his creation, the Komodo class destroyer, which is a dedicated missile launching platform. In the case of the Calypso and the Akula, it's an option that the player has depending on the type of enemy that he's going to find. This particular uh, missile rack was designed to have a certain resemblance to the Russian Navy's uh, destroyers and cruisers. That have larger containers or canisters that store oversized missiles that are basically like a small fighter plane. Now the main target for these missiles are larger, slower moving ships. You may fire this at a fast moving ship, but it's really hard to hit it. The arrangement in the top and the bottom is actually the same, the same rack, it's the same grid. I configure the rotors for them to turn, so in theory you can use a top rack and put it on the bottom if you want to use this in either creative or survival, but I have two dedicated racks like this because the torpedoes have to be numbered. They have to have a specific number. And in the case of the Calypso, which is the platform that I designed that has the most of them, the ones on the bow of the ship are number one through four, being one and three, the odd numbers on the port side, and two and four, the even numbers on the starboard side. And I followed the same, uh, let's say, convention for the ones on this rack. They are number five through 10. So at this point we have 10 plus the 6 on the bottom, we have 16, and these are numbered 11 through 16. So each one of them is an individual blueprint. They can be loaded into these projectors, and then near a station or near a welding ship, they can be welded back. That's the, the way of reloading them. Since the Calypso is not a dedicated missile platform, Unlike the Komodo, uh, it cannot produce its own missiles. But if you have drones in the hangar bay, you may want to reload it that way from the stores present inside of the Calypso's cargo hold. 